the, the knowledge that we have about the agile to all of our community folks. We have done this kind of presentation, two presentations earlier. This is the third in the series. <clears throat> but don't worry if you have not attended the prior ones. You're going to quickly recap the past ones. So how many were there in the past, earlier? One, two, three, four, four people. So quite a, bit, a lot of people were in there earlier. So we're going to quickly scoot through that what we have done in the past. And I'll explain what we're going to do today. So you must have received the Scrum Cheat Sheet. It's called a desk reference. I call it the desk, desk reference. This is what we reviewed in past earlier sessions. So I'm sure you must have read it as Amy is particular you that you come to share. So I'm going to ask some questions before we begin. So what are the three columns listed on those? Can someone read to me those three columns? The title of the three columns listed on the cheat sheet. Roles, there are the roles, four columns, but be the first three. Roles, artifacts, artifacts and, meetings. and meetings. We call them as a ceremonies. So Scrum is made up of these three ingredients. Just like Chipotle is made up of many ingredients. Scrum is made up of RCA, roles, ceremonies, and artifacts. We can also roles, meeting, and artifacts. Together, it makes Scrum. Now, you must be aware of what yes, Scrum so is all about. Who, who has heard of Scrum earlier? Like almost everyone? So you know it's, the Scrum is an agile methodology. It's a one way to develop product, software product. Out of many. So let's begin this. Let me talk to you about what or something myself. I'm working right now uh, with the Department of Healthcare Services. I'm consulting there through Trinity Technology Group. And uh, I'm providing the Enterprise Quality Assurance Leadership to DHCS team. There are two programs, big, big programs that they are working on right now. One, the vendor is Xerox. For both, the vendor is Xerox. But there are sub vendors, uh, and those are subcontractors are cognizant as well as the digital forward. They are bringing new systems to the Department of Healthcare Services, one to process the claim and another to, to enroll the providers. So I'm handling the user acceptance test leadership portion of that project. I will help them on the requirement management. I also help them in the user acceptance test planning and preparing them for testing. On top of it, on the side, I also train entire KMS division on Agile methodology. Something similar training that I also provided earlier, but the, those trainings were long. And then I also I am a chair of the group called the uh, Sacramento Agile Leadership Network. It's on a LinkedIn. If you're not been there, I would uh, encourage you to join that group. Many good information we are going to share on that in that group. I also have writing a book called Scrum for Dummies. Also, one of the chapter I helped the author to write. And uh, the third ones are to help of our uh, Trinity expert, uh, Alisa and others. I also was able to write the blog entry, blog post for Agile. So that's my little contribution towards the Agile community to our fellow Trinity teams and uh, other project management community. With that said, today's overview, we're going to talk about what introduction to the Scrum, a very brief introduction. Then we're going to talk about what Scrum framework is. And then at last, we're going to do an interactive activity called Scrum Rose. That's the first column in our cheat sheet. Okay. So what Scrum is? Scrum is nothing but it's an iterative and incremental agile software development framework. It's a framework. If you have played the game of chess, you know we know which pawn moves how many steps and in which direction. Those are rules, those are the framework. You consider that as a framework. How you play is up to the individual. How you work in the Scrum is up to the team. But Scrum provides a framework. So learning Scrum is very easy. It's, it's, it's very easy to learn Scrum. But in order to adopt, in order to, to understand and work on, execute the Scrum, 
that requires a mind shift. It's 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 mind shift in most of the areas of the scrum, and we will see in detail. So scrum is an iterative and incremental uh, as a software development framework for managing software projects and product or application development. It focuses on a flexible product development strategy. Flexible means you know you can have a lot of flexibility while developing the software. If you have worked in a waterfall methodology, you see there are a lot of restrictions. Once you pass on the requirement phase, you can change the requirement. If you have to change the requirement, you have to go through like bold, like big process called the change change management where do you know change management group gets involved so there are a lot of restrictions once you pass coding you know you have to move your code to the to the staging or for the QA and then you there is no way you can go back unless you have a change request in place so there are a lot of restrictions a heavyweight methodology mm -hmm. I would say but scrum is a flexible development strategy where development team works in a unit to reach a common goal common goal so let's see, you know, this is this is what we see in a waterfall methodology. You know, relay race, you know, when once you pass on a phase, then you know, if you are crawling, you know, then all other phases suffer because of that. If the requirement takes longer time, coding suffers. If coding so coding takes longer time, who gets suffered? Testers, Testers suffer. And all, most of the time, testing either gets testing time gets reduced or sometimes it gets skipped. Versus, this is like huddle together, we will go together as a team and we will work on the requirement. Let's see how that works. So, Scrum framework is made up of roles, ceremonies, and artifacts, as I just said in the three columns in the chat set, right? We're going to focus today about big picture of Scrum. So, when you want to develop any software, how the product comes into existence, the first and foremost step in product development is what? Can somebody say it? The first and foremost step in development of any product, in any software product. You have to have what? Have an, an idea, idea what you want to build. You have to have an idea what you want to build. So it starts mm -hmm. with an idea. Once you have an idea, then what you need? <laughs> say you have an idea. You have idea. What do you need after that? An RFO. <laughs> An RFO. Money. No. What RFO is made up of? Requirements. Requirements. You need the requirements, right? So you need to have a features list in that product you want to build in, right? So we need to have the feature list. And that will be long feature list. Some items you already know vividly in minor details. Where certain you kind of don't know in, in, in detail, you have first the idea of this. I don't know. Right? So, this in Agile we call is a product backlog. Right? So, in order to start a product, you have to have an idea, then you have to have a product backlog. Now, what you need in order to work on the project, in order to actualize that requirement into a product, what you need? You have people. Oh, you need people. You need a team. What kind of team we need? We need the A team. <laughs> the A team. Requirement team. Then the A team. Next. Developers, Developers testers, and project manager in traditional way. So let me start with before we begin, we need to know we need to get an owner of this backlog. We call it as a product. We call him or her a product owner. We have to have a product owner who owns this backlog, who prioritizes this backlog, who has money, who liaison with the customer, who represents the customer to the team. We need that person as product owner. Once the product owner has these list of requirements and some fine-grained requirements with him, he says, okay, let's meet for the first portion of the meeting. It's called sprint planning. Sprint planning. What happens in sprint planning meeting? There are two things happen in sprint planning meeting. You decide the sprint goal, what you want to achieve in the sprint. Sprint means it's a time box. 
say next two weeks what do you want to do oh for next two weeks we want to have these features to be actualized in my product so we decide the goal what you can say what we want to do we decide what and then in a sprint planning meeting we do second thing and that is called how we gonna do that the second portion is how and the team who does this how portion who have to do the how how portion you have to have you can as a PA tester those people they make it they, they make that to actualize what product owner wants in a goal they have them to do it it's called how so in sprint planning meeting they decide what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do that you know in the traditional if you want to compare it we prepare a project management plan how the work breakdown structure we develop all those things ahead of time here for the sake of let's say first sprint we don't know what we're gonna do and how we're gonna handle it right and then after that what happens next there, <clears throat> next day sprints begin they start working on it they huddle together team works together and they meet every day in the morning to discuss about where they are on the decision that on the commitment that they have given early in the spring planning meeting so that's called daily scrum it's 15 minutes meeting all team are done together and then discuss about three things what i have done yesterday what i'm going to do today and what are the impediments on my way the scrum is considered as one of the empirical process control process uh, methodology you know what empirical process control means it has three things it has transparency it has inspection it has adaptation in transparency means whatever we do in a scrum we have visual chart that displays the progress it's called burn down chart product backlog you can see the definition of done you can see everything on the wall that's why we have some other charts here just to show you later on so that's a transparency another inspection inspection is what i have done yesterday what i'm going to do today what are my impediments oh, why and say why well, while i'm a team member i'm providing the status to everyone i'm not providing status to scrum master i'm providing status to team members that okay this is what i worked today but it took me this many times this much of time so someone said why don't you do this well how how about you do that see they are inspecting and adapting right from the day one. Usually in waterfall project, when we do lessons learned, okay. at the end of the project, right? Mm -hmm. And under the project, the fruits of it gets another project, not the current project. Here's from day one, you have inspection and adaptation. You are doing inspection and adaptation for the sake of the spring, nothing else. Then at the end of, like the next ceremony that we do at the end of the sprint, we call the sprint end of the set, like say two weeks sprint, we say end the sprint at two weeks. We have a meeting called sprint <clears throat> review meeting. This is a public end of the sprint. That means we invite the entire world to come and see what we have done for that sprint. And then we give a demo. Product team gives a demo, not, not scrum master user, product team. Product team is the team who worked on that that uh, sprint gives the demo that's the public end here there is an inspection and adaption here users see that system first time so the users have a comment product owner has a comment they provide the comment this is okay you should have done this instead of this is what not i asked i was asking something different so they take all these changes and adds it into the product backlog to work on the future sprint so that is the inspection and adaption for the sake of product this was the inspection and adaption for the sake of sprint. This is for the product. And then this says, okay, off you go. All the users are asked to go from the meeting room and the only team stays in that room. And then you have the third meeting. It's called sprint retrospective meeting. In the sprint retrospective meeting, they decided what process worked, what did not work, and what we can improve on, what we can start doing new things. We decide on. So that is the inspection and adaptation at the team level, process level. So 
Scrum is empirical process that is full of inspection and adaption at sprint level, product level, team level. And once they are done with this meeting, next day they start with another sprint. They take some more requirements, they do the whole process again, they do all the process again. This entire duration, what they worked on is called sprint. There may be the many sprint for a release. And there are many releases for a product to launch. This is all about Scrum. It's very easy, right? It's very easy to understand. It's a little difficult to practice, but it comes when you practice over and over again, same thing, right? Just like swimming. You don't get swim, you can you don't become swimmer very first day. You have to practice. Once you practice, you don't forget. <laughs> this is this is the same as uh, did I click on this earlier? Right. Like, all right. So Scrum had this is a famous story and famous joke. The pig and uh, chicken met together and decided to open a restaurant. Then pig asked, What what we will you name it? It's a ham and Ham and egg. He says, you know what? No, no, no. I don't want to do it because pizza. I'll be committed because it's ham. I'll be committed, and you'll be just involved. You'll be just laying the eggs, but I'll be committed. So there are two kinds of roles. There are chickens. There are pigs. Those who are committed. Those who has their stake on the line. And those are product owner, scrum master, and scrum team. Now I forgot to tell you here. Wow, this process learning, who facilitates this meeting? Who removes the impediment? Who makes sure the Scrum values have been followed or not? That guy is called Scrum Master. So you have three basic roles in Scrum. Product owner, who owns the product backlog. Team, who does the work, self-organization. So self-organizing, you don't need anybody to manage them. And then Scrum Master, who has that all Scrum values are followed or not, removes the impediment. He's a servant leader in shop. So here I have a question. If you compare it with the traditional uh, software development approach, who is the project manager? Is it the Scrum Master or the product owner? You tell me. I would say the Scrum Master. Anybody else want to take a chance? Who's the, who's the project manager currently? Who, who, or who has played a role of project manager in the past? OK. What do you think? Who, who can be a product manager? Uh, a project manager? What role maps to the product man, uh, project manager? I would say the Scrum Master because product owner is uh, in a traditional development, development that would probably be the product, the project sponsor, not the, not the project manager. All right. But in yeah. some cases, there will be a role of uh, uh, product owner as well because project manager do prioritize like <coughs> what kind of tasks we have to do as per schedule. You see that? So it's a combination. Product owner and scrum masters combine, combine them makes a project or a project manager. So there is no project manager role because there is there is nothing for you to manage. Who is the sponsor though? Who is stakeholders? The, all the stakeholders are yeah. sponsors. No, stakeholders. No, no. Stakeholders. stakeholders <laughs> the business stakeholder who is the sponsor? Who sponsors the team? In terms of budget. In terms of budget. Yeah, in terms of the budget. But the budget is given to the product owner to manage. So product owner is now prioritizing the backlog. He says, okay, I want five these five requirements to be developed first. So he, else. he has the control on the budget. Five user stories, like say, the, you know, he, he managed all the user stories. So, and he has the budget too. <clears throat> He's been given the budget from the sponsor. So he is a lion, and as I said earlier, between customer and a product team. So the project manager is a shared role between all those those three, right? Those two. Two. Those two. Oh, no, no, scrum. Okay. The other is a team. Scrum, yeah, 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 yeah. A scrum team, right? You could treat it the other way. So the stakeholders, product. consulting experts, and users, these are considered as a as the those people who are involved but not committed. Whereas product owner, scrum master, and scrum team, which is a project team. Scrum team is a little different than a project team because Scrum team covers the product owner and Scrum master too. It's a, just a development team. So product owner defines the feature of the product, decides the release date and contains responsible for the profitability, return on investment. It's just like an investment agent. You know what an investment agent does? He tries to maximize your rate of your return on your investment. Similarly, he works with the sponsor and make sure that your investment what you're making in this team i'm going to maximize the value of it because that sponsor is a, a other way to earn money he might in, invest in the stock and get the more return than what he invests in a team 
So he wants someone to maximize his return on investment. So he is he's a person who helps the, uh, help the customer. He prioritize the feature according to the market value. He adjusts the features and prior, uh, priority every iteration, every sprint. As in an accept or reject the reserve at the end. During the sprint, review meeting. He accept, oh yeah, this is what I asked you to do. You have done the work, good. I accept it. Or mm -mm, this this is what not I asked. This is not what I asked. Remove. Do it again. He rejects. Scrum master, servant leader, responsible for enacting scrum values and practices, as I said, removes impediments, ensures the team is fully functional and productive. I'm gonna read it because I just said it earlier, and you will have this. You already have it. You know, I'm assuming that you have read that cheat sheet. So. Enable close cooperation across all roles and functions, shields the team from external interfaces. What does what does this mean? Have you ever uh, your team manager or maybe your company owner come to you and ask you to work on something else while you're working on a product or mm -hmm. project? A lot of time. <laughs> what do you say? Okay, sir, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy shields. Shields external inter uh, interferences. You know, that's in traditional world, we did not have anybody else to do that work. We have a project manager, but we need the project manager. The soft skill of project project manager was helping, but if that project manager does not have the soft skill, he can't do that work. So ultimately, team was suffering. Here, this is a authority given to Scrum Master to shield the team from external interference. It's not from the management, it's from the outside customer also. Customer wants a new requirement, and team say, okay, they might send a direct email to the team member. Can you please do it? And team member say, you know what? I've been asked to do that. He shields, he goes to the customer. Uh, outside to the customer and talk to them. Facilitates meetings. So he is just making sure he knows Team is typically five to nine people. Multidiscipline, cross-functional, very important point of it. BA must do the work of tester, tester must do the work of BA. You are cross-functional in the, in the agile team, in the scrum team. Responsible for doing everything within the boundaries of the project guidelines to reach the sprint's goal. He organizes itself and task work. What do you mean by organizes itself? Do you know? Traditional project management, who's organizing the team? PM. Yeah. Yeah. Who develops the work breakdown structure? Yeah. Who asks for the status whether you are done or not? Yeah. Everything is done by PM. Mm -hmm. So what the result you will get at the end of the product project from the team? Oh, you asked me to do this? I just did this. Mm -hmm. I did not use my mind to do something else. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hear who commits to the sprint. <clears throat> who commits to the how portion of the sprint? How we will do it? Team. So now, if team commits, who's who's that responsibility? Like it's called hidden responsibility. Who accepts that response? Who who does that commitment in the beginning of the sprint? Team. So it's more likely that team will produce correct result at the end of the sprint. So there is no management needed, right? So that's why team is self-managed, uh, self-organized. And applying full principle. Full principle means what? Have you heard of the full principle earlier? It is just, we just said, project manager defines the work breakdown structure in traditional, manage, uh, traditional project. He assigns the work, push. He pushes the work. Here, they pull the work. I come into this. Okay, I'll do this. Okay, you will, you don't worry, but I'll take care of this. I pull the work from the product back, from the sprint backlog. We'll talk about the sprint backlog. I think we'll talk about this product backlog. Whatever the feature from the product backlog that we select for a particular sprint becomes a sprint backlog. Sprint backlog is made up of what? Two things. It's called user stories. Yeah, you can you can map it to the requirement tradition, but the user story, user, what user is asking, what features user want to develop. So it's, it's small, like uh, like action items. You know, this is a user story. Let me give an example. As a user, I want a login feature to my product so that I have a security on my website. That's my user story. In traditional way, the requirement Requirement was systems shall contain the login feature 
you know the system shell so who is the subject in that system here is user so everything is geared to the users so we get the expect ex acceptance quickly when we target the user story so user story in order to actualize the user story into the product you need to perform certain tasks right i need to develop the screen a ui screen i need to develop the database i need to uh, develop a, a, a code to connect the screen to the database i need to test those are the tasks so together stories and tasks make up the sprint backlog Whereas sprint product backlog is made up of the user stories only. So you pull the user stories from the sprint product backlog during the sprint planning meeting. So that story comes from here in sprint planning meeting, and the team, the product project team, they develop the tasks during the sprint planning meeting. So together, user story plus tasks makes up a sprint backlog. And they use apply the full principle in, in developing the sprint backlog. So that was all about the sprint, uh, the scrum rules. There were some ceremonies, there are artifacts. We don't have enough time. We're gonna do some interactive activity so that we just in train. We understand the role while we go out of this room. We want to make sure that we understand the rules properly. Mm -hmm. So we have some interaction, interactive activity design. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. You have a question? Yeah, go ahead. Quick question. question. During the sprint planning, is that who's involved in that again? <laughs> Does that involve the customer or the end user? So who represents and provides the details of product owner? What? So they have to be an expert on exactly everything that the customer. You also can invite the they, subject matter experts okay. who knows that system, who wants that. So customers are involved. You know, in sprint planning meeting also in the first portion of it, just okay. to do what, right. and after that they can go. Product owners can stay to answer the questions of the team. Yeah, we will we'll decide about that detail when we talk about the ceremonies. You know, the ceremony spring planning meeting, we'll discuss more about it later. So we're gonna focus today on these three roles. Okay, now, everyone, can you put all your- I have a question. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. So in this framework, is it used inside Trinity somewhere in the product unit somewhere? I don't know any official project that we are using which we have used, but I am using since last uh, four years on the state project. So, and those projects were earlier uh, waterfall, but I injected. So, what, what tool do you use to implement? SharePoint? You use SharePoint? Yeah. I'll show you when we talk about the ceremonies, I'll show you how I use the SharePoint. Online. Do you know about the Visual Studio Online? Yeah, Visual Studio is online too. I think Larry, where is Larry? Larry, we have on the uh, I think CRM also. You said, or you said Visual Studio only. The Scrum tool. Yeah, you wrote Visual me an email earlier that there is a, it's not yeah, in it's CRM, Visual but Studio. this is the Visual Studio. Visual Studio yeah. There is a version one software, there are Jira, there are a lot of softwares available. Yeah. There are some free softwares also available. Yeah. 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 But we'll talk about it later. Let, let's use our time, the remaining time that we have for the interactive activity. I think that will take some, some more time of us. And yeah, this does not stop your questions. You can ask the questions to me in an email. I'll answer your questions. And those who are not able to attend, you can tell them that we can have some other meeting also after them. All right. So with that said, let's do our interactive activities. Can you just... Uh, Okay. So what kind of the, what are the roles that we just discussed? Scrum team, product owner, scrum master. All right. Now can you all this cheat sheet? Can you put upside down? No cheating. <laughs> so I don't. Yeah, the fun in it. It's upside down. <laughs> so I share some here. Here, 
few this table and few this table. You can share the back. So one at a time, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this nose. No, you can you can put there yeah, yeah, whatever you want to do. But here there are three rows, and there's like the task that everybody can do, the task that no one can do. So let's see. <coughs> Based on the discussion that we just had and your reading prior to coming over here on those rolls. Run. And with you are not doing any cheating, so let's start working from one table at a time. And you have to tell me where does sticky note go in this donut. It's called Herculean donut. So let's what? start. What's it called? It's a Herculean donut, big one. Uh, big donut. Oh, yeah. So someone, I forgot the name of the person yes. who, who created this activity. I found it very, very helpful. So I said, let me add it to our and, and, and that gives uh, gives us a chance to understand this whole a bit more detail. Now, after this, we have some other activity also, but let's do it first. Okay. Start with one at a time. Uh, Cancelling a sprint. Cancelling a sprint. Who can cancel the sprint? Product owner. Everyone looks like product yeah. owner, right? That is correct. That yes. Is yes. Where? Where? You know, this is. Cancelling the sprint. What do you mean by cancelling the sprint? At the end of the sprint, if it's uh, acceptable or not, based on that, they can cancel. Or maybe the no. In the middle of the sprint, something happens. Yeah. What happens? Basically, yeah. in the middle of the project, you know, database team is not ready. We can't do any work. Right. We have to find out some other work. Oh, but I don't have some other work to give to you. Oh, how about you replace it something else? So he product owner gives some more user stories. But even though those are not possible because you still have to pave the road in order to work some other requirement, he says, okay, you know what? For one week, I'm going to cancel this. But this happens rarely, mm -hmm. very rarely. But that's only authority for the sake of this discussion is in the hand of product owner. No one else can cancel this. Week. Even though team member says, I can't do it, here to, here to now show that work to the product owner through Scrum Master. So product owner's responsibility is to be in contact with the team and scrum master all the time, right? We don't want this situation to happen. Next one, from your side. Points out other people's mistakes. Who points out the people's mistakes? No one. No one. <laughs> sure? Everybody. I would say everybody. everybody. How practical is it? No. Oh, what? That's no one points out mistakes. It's a joint effort. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are not there to point out mistakes. You are there to solve. You're going to work as a team, yes. collaborative team. You are committing not individually. You are committing as a team. There is no pointing fingers. No pointing fingers. You have to identify, but he says points out your mistake. Uh -uh. Identify is okay. Do we need, in order to be successful in this approach, do we need a team building activity before this scrum? Team building. We are daily meeting for 15 minutes. Okay? We are meeting at the end of the sprint. Two times. We are meeting at the beginning of the meeting. Beginning of the sprint. People don't like each other. They're on the same team. The co-location, pair programming, these are the answer. These are the techniques you can use within the scrum. Scrum framework does not have, but you can use these techniques in order to get the team work together. I'm sorry. I'm just coming from the perspective when you're forming a team, right? So how would you know a particular person will be keeping the Scrum team? Yeah. Because the team member doesn't have a skill set or attitude towards the Scrum. I, I believe that we need to have a, a phase before the Scrum project, team building activity, and educate them yes. their roles and responsibilities. I, I understand. Prior to we even implement the Scrum framework in an organization or for the project, there is a guideline that we train everyone up front on the process so that this kind of situation does not happen. But sometimes when you are working on a sprint, say you are on a fifth sprint, I am on a seventh sprint, starting tomorrow is my seventh sprint, I got a new member. Does not have any clue about what, how we do the work. So before coming over here, I had a, like about half an hour and one hour, one one to half an hour discussion with him. Just brought that person up to the speed, uh, up to the speed. But yeah, the situation happens. But you need to have consistent people who have already experienced the scrum who can work with that person to get him on board. So it rarely happens, but happens. Yes. Sure. Next, this side. 
Make sure the product works. Mm. The responsibility is everyone. Make sure the product works. Everybody is responsible for it. Next one. Who prioritizes product backlog? Who prioritizes product backlog? I have said it many times. Product owner. 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 This is product backlog. Where in the picture product backlog is? Inside the sprint or outside the sprint? Outside. Outside. Who owns that? Product owner. The scrum master. Scrum master. Oh. Mm, that's wrong answer. It's a product owner. <laughs> <laughs> I know you say product owner in your mind, but I know. No, I didn't. I actually said scrum master. Scrum master is who? Who's scrum master? What is the servant leader? The sprint. Sprint. Control the sprint. Yeah. Control the sprint. yeah. Not controls, he manages. <laughs> he manages the controller. He is facilitating. He is a facilitator, not controller. All right, next. Next, next, next. We have very less time left. Protects the team from outside distractions. Protects the team from outside distractions. Yes. What was it? All right. Protects the team from Protects the team from outside distraction. You need and the scrum master's soft skills should be. It should be very. Turn into it. Who? Who's gonna give me now? Oh, keep keep no. stakeholders informed. Keep stake. Keep stakeholder informed. Who? Product owner. Product owner. Product owner. Everyone. Product owner. Why? Because <laughs> he is the person who develops the product backlog from the idea. So he is the person responsible to keep the stakeholders informed. Next one. Dealing with budget. Dealing with budget. Who? Got it. I'm so happy everyone's now chiming in. <laughs> Good. Represents one. the business customers. Represents the business and customers. Who? Product owner. Accept the story as ready. Accept the story as ready. Product owner. Scrum master. Scrum master. Product owner. Who? Scrum master. Scrum master. Product owner. Product owner. <laughs> That's a product owner. Why? Why product owner? Yeah, Explain. Product owner owns that product, so he'll be going to let us know whether it's good to go or not. Or That's correct. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. No. Scrum master is electing the scrum values in the team. He is not the manager. Yeah. <laughs> so accept story as ready is so, product owner. Yeah. Recognizes impediments. Recognizes impediments. Who recognizes impediments? The general. Everybody. Everybody. Team. Team. Everybody. 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 There may be the impediment on the scrum master side also. Yeah. There may be some impediment from them say, oh, you did not provide the right requirements. It's a product owner also. So impediment are it's a group effort. Yeah, it's a group effort. That that's the term we want to say. It's a group effort. Next one. Creating status reports. Creating status reports. Who creates the status report? That's a good one. Ah. Everybody. Scrum master. Scrum master. Everyone. 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 No one creates status report in Scrum because information radiates. When we talk about the artifacts, we'll talk about it. This, the burn down charts. That's, that's a one fault. Yeah, that's one fault. That's the status reports are one fault. Stuff, and most of the time, the status reports are wrong. Is there a centralized repository for status? Where did you get yes, yes, there is a tool that we use, whatever the tool we use, that's where we put all our uh, burn down charts. So that's where you see the status. Done. And in fact, there are a lot of dis multiple discussion going on. Okay, the, the, can you repeat your question? So is the status available at the centralized location? So status available at centralized location? Yes, the central, you know, Scrum, Advises Scrum framework advises team to work in co-located in like team should, team should be co-located mm -hmm. and most preferably in one room mm -hmm. because it's five to nine people you can fit like 15 people here you can set five to nine people easily you can fit in a room like this you have all the 
place you can put your status is here. Mm -hmm. That's one place. You can also post your statuses on the wall, the burn down charts. But if the status is on the walls, right? So from the perspective of uh, lessons learned, where would you document those lessons? Or uh, see, you have you have software tools also to doc document that. But it does not stop you to just use a tool. Scrum is lightweight. You even don't want to use a tool, that's fine too. Just put all the lessons learned on the wall. And next print you change it. You just put another another flip paper on it. It's a temporary thing. Then. It's a temporary it's for that sprint yeah. only, right? But is there any activity or phase where you document lessons? Yes, yes. It's for the client. It's here. Sprint retrospective. You document the lessons learned for the pro process, like for the product. This is for the team. That's where you. That's where you record it. There's a thin line. Inspects and adapts. Inspects and adapts to improve their performance. Everyone. 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 Except Everyone. for the product owner. <laughs> <laughs> he also expects yeah. Everyone. Next, next, next. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, writes user stories. Right. Who yeah, right, writes user stories? We saw that, right? Product owner developed this user story, gives the user story. Product owner. Yeah. Is, it, is it a one person or <laughs> one person for one team? One person for one team. Yes. Chooses the amount of work in a sprint. I know this interactive activity, so you're going to interact anyways. I should not say don't talk. What is that? Choose because chooses. The amount of work in a sprint. Everybody. Everybody. Scrum master. Product owner. Team. Product owner. Team. Explain that question. Choose it. Very good thing. <laughs> Choose the amount of work in a sprint. This is what we can do. This is what I can do. This is what oh. committed by us. Team. Team commits here, right? Here is you know how sprint planning meeting they commits that this is what we can do in the first sprint, not more than that. Yes, commit till we just got one thing. Next commits to yeah. completing the sprint. Okay, again, who commits to completing the sprint now? The team. 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 team commits. If they choose the team. amount of work in a sprint, they are the people who commit themselves, right? <laughs> they are the commit, uh, you know. Because without them, the scrum wouldn't exist. So they are the commit uh, people who commits. Next, next, next. Motivates the team. Who team. motivates the team? Everybody. Team. Everybody motivates themselves. Yes. During the sprint, it's important. I mean, during the daily scrum. Yeah, I, I like that answer. I was going to say scrum master motivates the team, but motivates the team. motivation is the team. motivation is not restricted to one person. Yeah. Motiv yeah. Anybody yeah. can yeah. give the motivation. So everybody. The yeah, that's is a that, very good answer. That is the difference Next. between traditional and this one, right? Yeah. We'll discuss about it later. All right. Facilitate because I have to do another activity and that question is very important. I'm sorry. Because you're hungry too, right? Answer. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, because I didn't eat. Facilitate meetings. Who facilitated the meeting? I'm master. I'm master. I'm okay. I'm okay. Next, 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 next. Mr. Scrum Backlog. Okay. Was it commits to the Spring Backlog. Team. 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 team already come uh, yeah, the team. completing the so coming to the spring oh, no, 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 no. Scrum master. Uh, I'm just giving you a hard time. It's a team. Yeah. Team. You're right. I win. Next. Yeah. Win. Yes. <laughs> Who builds the product backlog? The product owner. Isn't it? No, now see everyone is answering quickly. <laughs> And show something useful is built by the launch date. Ensure something useful is built by the launch date. Hmm. Everybody. Everybody. Team. Ensures something useful is built by launch date. Everyone. Everyone. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, it's everybody. I don't care. Everybody. <laughs> everybody is a team, right? So team involved, product owner involved, scrum master involved. But team is committed up, committing for what? For, for the spring, but this is by the launch date. Mm. Ensure something useful is built by launch date. Oh, so no one. Yes, product owner's responsibility. He wants to make sure that something useful is prepared. They are providing you per sprint. So together, all sprint together, something by the launch date, something is prepared. So he's responsible. He's the liaison between the customer and. 
team. Any anything left? Facilitates retrospective. Okay, facilitates retrospective. Who facilitates Scrum Master? Scrum Master. Yeah. You get it, Emma? Who facilitates the retrospective? Can you? I'm just kidding. You're talking. That's all. I'm done. Stay after school, Emma. Facilitates the retrospective. Who? Scrum Master. All right. So what? Yeah, you got some more back here. Wait, you got some more. Like oh, some more. Yeah. Okay. Remove the impediments. Remove Okay. <laughs> remove impediments. Who removes the impediments? Sure. Yeah, yeah. sure? Yes. We had that one already. Sure. No, 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 no. Product no. owner removes the impediments. No. 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 Yeah, because there is something, uh, some within the team, yeah. there is an impediment. Hey, you know what? I'm not able to work on my UI team. Something is not working. Yeah, I can't do my question. job. Tester says, I can't do my job. Team member says, okay, let me fix it for you. No, actually, there is a problem with that, right? Because certifies. <laughs> there is no certification. If we are working as a team, the our goal is what? One person says that this is the right way. Do another person says that that is the right way. Then you decide what is the best way as a team. Who <laughs> decide? As a team. <laughs> That doesn't work. That doesn't it work. works. <laughs> it works. Tell us it's not. Next. Another one. Accept the story as done. Accept a story as done. 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 So you see, most of the task was done by what? Well, I have, I have many more, but we don't have time. That's what I was written. But based on this information, we have a second activity. Very quickly, we have five minutes left. In five minutes, who draws? Who, who's a good paint artist? Like, like a drawing person, painter. Karman. Okay, from your three, I need three people on the board there. Amy, you can you can speak yeah, here. Oh, you can, you can come around here. Here are the tools. Let's do a sprint activity together. Let's draw a picture of. Let me try, uh, write the title. Write the title, Scrum Master. Chicken and the pig. Chicken and the pig. Yeah. And right there. Larry, can you write here? Uh, product owner. And I need three people to come here. And you can you can guide, other people can guide that person how to draw. Draw a picture of a product owner there. How you look, how the product owner would look like. Based on based on all this information. Just try to picture a cartoon or a person or any other kind of picture that shows that I see product owner as this or scrum master as this or team as this. What is that? The qualities are here. Yeah. The qualities are here. So use these qualities and draw a product owner. You have five minutes. Come on. You need a taker here for product owner role. You can, you can get this uh, chair, chair away. Yeah, take a help. Go there. Help him. 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 Go there. Help Keep stakeholder informed. Rice user story. So you must have pen or something in the hand. Represent business of customers. Build the problem in the law. Put a bunch of dollar bills in one. Yeah, then you need to hold a wallet in one hand. There we go. Okay, guys, you have wow. four minutes. What is that? <laughs> All in one. The big okay, one. On, help her. Help her. What are the qualities what of a team? Yes, okay. Chooses right. the amount of work in a sprint. Commits completing a sprint. Commits to sprint backlog. Yeah. Put a race track. Self organizing yeah. team. Draw something. Help her. Maybe a race track. He needs a leader. Go. Stand up. Go there. Yeah, like, uh, you know, uh, stick. Uh, 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 come on. Come on, Mike.
Go, 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 help him on. There you go. This is your place. I was going to design something. I was going to try to put his hand on his hair out. You just drop how There you go. Yeah, backlog. I don't know what the rest of them should look like. It's gone last week. It's not obvious as a stand. Okay, he has one. He has a lady. He has a man. He has a road map of the product. He's a reason. What's wrong with that? He's a reason. Come on, if we need we are we are we are a very good artist too. Yeah, Larry. Michael. There you go. There you go, Larry. Good. Yes. Good ideas. Nice. Yeah. He has what? He he accepts yeah. and he rejects. Oh, this is really... Yeah, that's true. He rejects too. Yeah. So <laughs> what is it? Java. I think he should be Java. Go there. You go there. You go there. Go there. Go there. Say California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're breaking down the wall. I'll take yeah, picture from here. Ten people on top of this head. Ten people on top of this head. Look at that leg. And huge mountain on top of him. Angel on one shoulder. Running monkey on this one. That's funny. Just take one of these. Yeah, there you go. that. That's the way of the world. Oh, man. He's doing oh, man. He's doing oh, man. Okay, one minute. And then you have to explain it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Aman, sounds like you are done. Can you explain what you have, what you have done there? I don't know. Okay, can you can think of it. Can you explain what you have done? Together. Right. Quickly. Do you want to explain your part? And then... <laughs> <laughs> it's a monkey. 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 Taking a big leap. Sprinting, taking a big leap. Okay. And nice. through the different positions, traveling down a road, the road to the finish line. And mm -hmm. here they're holding hands because they're a team and they're checking off things, achieving goals. Nice. 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 Excellent. Okay, very important owner. Can you explain what you have done with the help of others? Yes, please. So they have a crown because they have a lot of responsibility and they have the weight, the weight of all the people in the world on their head. On their head. And they have ideas and many arms to do all the tasks they have. They're responsible for the money, for rejecting things. Perpetual silent scream. <laughs> 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 I have a recommendation for mine too. This. So you are. So, you right. so we have a list, and you know you have some Bring lists. Back off. Yes. <laughs> and you know try to you know make some profit. No, he's not responsible for profit. We help oh. make profit. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you contribute help. to make. He contributes to help make profit. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Does he have a face? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. What about the other? Just thing? happiness, you know, charts. You know, like the happiness and charts. Three legs. <laughs> <Sunny disposition. Yeah. laughs> so he, he, he has no fun in All right. All right. Okay. All right. So done. One o'clock. And I think we are done. And you can have your Thank lunch. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We will help you in future sessions also later on. By the time you should get a time to read this book, this is a good book. It's not like it's mine, written by Mark Major, but I I have one chapter in it that I have worked with. Him. I have my name also somewhere in that comment and somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you will drop for the next person to get the next person. Oh, sure. Here you go. The person in the uh, using the yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. And again, everyone, there is a call, group, LinkedIn group called Sacramento Agile Leadership Network, S A L N.
Sacramento Agile Leadership Network. Subscribe to that group. There will be there will be a lot of good information. We'll be posting on it. This this is qualified for one PDU. If you are project manager, this will qualify for one PDU. Yeah. You can company your company name. There is, I think, category C or D. A. So you can you can log in that. Nice. Good. So now please don't forget to take your uh, this thing and one more thing. One more thing. I have some handouts. Can you give that handout to me? Not that one, the other one. And also, if anyone's interested in presenting for other lunch and learns, let me know because we're looking for someone for next month. So I August forgot to hand over. Can you give this? We don't have anyone for August. So if anyone's interested, let no, me no, know. No, just the paper in the bottom. I think all lunch and learns should be. Okay, ahead. take these okay, two no, papers. I don't see whether you're going to use this or not, but at least. Oh, I do you want. Right. You won the prize. Yes. Yes, you won. Oh no, you didn't. You, didn't. you, no, you won here. She won the prize. prize. <laughs> yes, I won Thank the prize. You. She, she still attended. <laughs> I guess. No, I don't know where it went.